this video, we're going to look at factoring special trinomials. And then we're going to look at two different kinds of special trinomials. The first one <coughs> is called a difference of squares. Difference of squares. This means difference, subtraction. So difference means minus, and squares mean of something squared. So it'll look like something like this. x squared minus y squared. Something squared minus something squared. And these always fit this sort of pattern. If you take the square to this number and put it here, and the square to that number and put it there, and we make one bracket a plus sign and one bracket a minus sign, then this is how these, these terms get factored. And watch when we multiply this out. x times x, x squared x times minus y is minus xy, and then here we have positive y times x, so that's a positive xy, and then positive y times negative y is negative y squared. So when we have the same terms in the two brackets, but one with a plus sign and one with a minus sign, those middle terms just cancel out. Negative xy plus, plus xy is zero. And then we have just our x squared minus y squared. So these are our differences of squares. And we'll look at two ways how we can factor differences of squares. So here's one way we can factor a difference of squares. Notice, first of all, we have to recognize that this question is a difference of squares, x squared minus 9. I can take the square root of the first term, which is x, and put it at the beginning of the bracket in each of the terms. And then I can take the square root of the second term, which is 3, put it here, put it here, and make 1 plus and make 1 minus. And that question is done. Here's another one. x squared minus 25. The square root of the first term is x, goes here and here. The square root of the second term is 5, goes here and here. 1 plus, 1 minus the question's factored. And when you multiply it back out, you will see that we would get x squared minus 25. And here, multiplying this out, we would get x squared minus 9. Now, you're maybe wondering, well, how is this a trinomial? There's only two terms here. This is a binomial. Um, but in method two, we could see that we could write this as a trinomial. So we start with the x squared. Now, normally it's x squared plus bx plus c. This is how we learned to factor trinomials like this. So really we could say there's a 0x in the middle here minus 9. So we could write the binomial as a trinomial with a 0x in here and then it can be factored exactly the way we learned how to factor these ones. So two numbers that multiply to minus 9 and add to 0. Well these will have to be minus 3 and positive 3, because negative 3 times 3 is negative 9, and negative 3 plus 3 is 0. So this would just be x minus 3 in one bracket, and x plus 3 in the other bracket. Similarly, instead of writing just x squared minus 25, if you want, you could write that as x squared plus 0x minus 25. Now we've created a trinomial, so what multiplies to minus 25 and adds to 0? minus 5 and plus 5, so we get x minus 5, x plus 5. So there's a couple of different methods how we would um, factor a difference of squares. We'll look at uh, maybe one or two more examples here that are a little bit tougher. Well, here's a couple of more. Um, we could use method two on these ones, but it would end up being quite a bit trickier to, uh, to factor because we would write something like this, 9x squared plus 0xy minus 16y squared. And now we gotta find two numbers that multiply to whatever this times this is and add to zero. And that, that gets a bit tricky because the numbers are big. So my preference when I'm factoring difference of squares is to, to use method one. And then what I need to do is 
first of all recognize that I can take the square root of this and this and that there's a difference, there's a minus sign in between the two terms. So I take the square root of the first term which is 3x and put that here and here and I take the square root of the second term which is 4y and I put that here and here and I do one with a plus sign, one with the minus sign. And then that question is, is factored. Same thing here, I could write this as 4 plus 0y minus 25y squared and then I'd have to rearrange this. First of all we like to write the squared term, then the y, and then the constant at the end. And now I'd have to find two numbers that multiply to minus 100 and add to 0. And then you got to work at splitting the middle term into two things because this is one of those trinomials where the number in front of y squared is not 1. So method 2, maybe not the best, me best method to use unless your numbers are really simple. So I'm going to go use method 1 on this one, which is just to take the square root of the first term, which is 2, here and here, square root of the second term, which is 5y, here and here, because the square root of 25 is 5, and the square root of y squared is y, 1 plus 1 minus. So let's summarize again how we would factor the special kind of trinomials, the one that is really a difference of squares where the middle term would have been 0. So a difference of squares, the properties of a difference of squares is that there are two terms, the terms are separated by a minus sign, and you can take the square root of both of those terms. So it would look something like this, something squared minus something squared. So using this example, 9x squared minus 16, I can factor a difference of squares by first taking the square root of both of the terms. So the square root of the first term would be 3x and the square root of the second term would be 4. And then step two would be place the terms in two brackets with one having a plus sign and the other a minus sign. So we would have 3x and 3x and that square root of the second one was 4 and 4 and one a plus sign and one a minus sign. So that's how we would factor a difference of squares. Well here's another kind of a special trinomial. What if, what if both of the factors that we are looking at are the same? So here's an example, x plus 3 and x plus 3. What kind of trinomial does that produce? Well let's multiply that out. x times x, x squared x times 3 is 3x, three, 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times 3 is 9. Well this produces some like terms in the middle here, 3x and 3x, so I'm going to add those together. And that gives us x squared plus 6x plus 9. So these are called perfect square trinomials when the trinomial, when factored, gives us the exact same binomials. And really when it comes to factoring these, they're no different than the other trinomials we've factored before. I'll show you a few examples of how we factor these perfect square trinomials. Say we were asked to factor x squared plus 16x plus 64. So Really, this is a, just a trinomial where the leading coefficient is 1, so we try to find two numbers that multiply to 64 and add to 16. And after a little bit of work, you'd see that the two numbers are 8 and 8, because 8 times 8 is 64, and 8 plus 8 is 16. So what we would do is we would say, we put x here and here, we put one in here plus 8, and the other one in here plus 8, and then you can see that actually the two, two terms are, are the same. And so we can write it as just x plus 8 squared. And that's why they're called a perfect square trinomial, because when factored, they give us two, two terms that are exactly the same. But really, in terms of factoring them, there's not, there's not really anything new that you're going to do here. I'll show you one where the leading coefficient is, is not 1. Here's one here, 9x squared minus 12xy plus 4y squared. So we're going to try to find, 
I'm going to multiply these two together now because this leading coefficient here is not 1. 9 times 4, so two numbers that multiply to 36 and add to minus 12. And it looks like we're going to get minus 6 and minus 6 because minus 6 times minus 6 is 36. Minus 6 plus minus 6 minus 12. Write it the same. Split it up. Write the last term the same. Split down the middle. Common factor here is 3x. That leaves us with 3x minus 2y. I'm going to need to pull out a negative 2y here so that I get the positive 3x when I divide negative 6 by minus 2. And I've taken the y out, so there's still an x left there. 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. Taken 1y out, there'll be 1y left. And I do have my brackets the same, so I pull out my 3x minus 2y, and I'm left with 3x minus 2y. So once again, what's left is a perfect square trinomial. And I can write that as 3x minus 2y all squared. So those are perfect square trinomials when the factors end up being identical. But really when it comes to factoring the original trinomial, it's um, procedures that we've learned already. So those are some of the special trinomials that we can factor.